With a continuing teacher shortage in Arizona, districts are forced to find new ways to get teachers in the classroom. Cronkite News reporter Amanda Kukula shows us how districts are trying to sell themselves to new teachers. Thank you. The two words students say to sum up the appreciation for their teacher. But the appreciation doesn't seem to be enough. The need for teachers is growing in Arizona. The Anderson Preparatory Academy is just one of many schools across the valley that's had to struggle to fill positions. This industry is very hard to hire. Adriana Brannon, the director of the academy, says with class enrollment higher than before, the want for more teachers has turned into a need. In having a family with three children, Adriana understands why hiring has been so difficult. There's no benefits. There's, and, and that's really hard, especially for a family, to not get any kind of benefits. They don't offer anything. It's, and the pay is really, really low. With these drawbacks, teachers have been leaving Arizona to Midwestern states with higher pay. A study by TeachingDegree.org found average salaries in Minnesota are up to $20,000 more than in Arizona. The, the problem with teachers leaving the classroom after just a few years is, is a problem all across the state. So Brannon and her staff have turned to new ways to recruit and retain. The Academy has hired nearly a third of their staff by using social media and other online sites. And with applicants being able to send a quick resume through email or scan an application with the click of a button, the Academy says that the hiring process has been a lot easier and quicker. We just put ads out everywhere we can. Go to Craigslist, we just went through Indeed. Um, we just have to have six months of experience at least and you know fingerprint card high school diploma tv tests and just love to be around kids be around kids help them learn and hopefully remain in arizona in phoenix amanda kukula cronkite news